the god particle let me just say that it has nothing to do with god or anything godly as such it's purely just physics and nature you see in the mid 20th century physicists were confronted with the question how do particles acquire mass the standard model of particle physics offered no satisfactory explanation for this. Then entered Peter Eggs, Englert and other scientists who proposed a groundbreaking solution. They postulated the existence of a field, a field now known as the Eggs field. According to their theory, particles interact with this field, acquiring mass in the process. Let me further simplify it. It says that the particle itself does not have mass of its own. They get their mass by how they react with this Eggs field. The stronger the particle interacts with the field, the heavier the particle is said to be, and vice versa. The Higgs boson is a fundamental particle responsible for giving other particles their mass. The Higgs boson itself is an excitation or vibration of the Higgs field. Now that the theoretical framework was in place, scientists were set to actually detect the Higgs boson. After years of experiments and analysis, on July 4th, 2012, the Higgs boson had been discovered. Scientists at CERN had detected a particle consistent with the properties predicted by the standard model. But how does all of this help? At its core, the Higgs mechanism provides info on how particles acquire mass. It sheds light on the fundamental nature of matter and energy. From the origins of Mars to the evolution of the cosmos, the implication of the Higgs boson changes our entire perception. Coming to the main question, why the name, the God's particle? The name is often attributed to the Nobel Prize winning physicist Leon Liederman, who reportedly wanted to title his book, The Goddamn Particle, because of the challenges associated with its discovery. However, its publisher suggested the God particle as a less controversial alternative, and the name stuck. So like the video if you learned something new and sharpen your brain by following.